Today, I just thought we'd take a look at this older uh, Gen 1 5 amp hour Ego 56 volt battery. And we've worked on several of these in the past and had good luck uh, working on similar packs and, and 4 amp hour as well. But this one is actually, if you can see that well, it's blinking the orange light. I have personally not have one with this same fault or same failure. So I just thought we would uh, take a look at it today and see what we can find. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my T15 security bit and go around and finish taking off the screws that holds this end cap. And of course we wanna be very gentle pulling on this end cap because the wires are attached. And this one has not had any work as far as um, trying to remove or get to the BMS board. But I'm gonna um, just take a little time here. I'm pretty sure I've done this in previous videos, so I won't, I won't waste a lot of time with this, but I'm just gonna go around and kind of dig this white silicone, uh, just very gently and carefully. This white uh, silicone here separates from the gray very, very easily. And you can see that we're already there at the connector. And all we have to do is just go around to all three and do the same thing. And the connectors will easily pop out without stressing and pulling on the wires. We don't ever want to pull on the wires itself. And now we can just simply take our finger and, uh, and just roll this off fairly easily. Even with one hand here, it's not, not difficult at all. So I'm just going to continue doing so. And we'll be right back. But one thing this allows to do is we can unplug the BMS board and we can bring over a known good one if you, if you work on a good many of these. And a lot of you know that I, I still have a, a battery that I repaired, oh, well, actually three years ago this month when I replaced my first Q12 and found it being bad on this board. And this is actually a 2.5 amp hour, but it was a first gen as well. So those boards are the same where this five amp hour here i used to think this was because it was five amp hour the different connectors but i think that's just more like a gen 2 board and as you can see it has smaller connectors all three are different sizes on on both boards but you know so you can't get them mixed up but they are different um, different type connectors or different size connectors. The board is very, very similar, almost identical other that U3 chip is the main difference on the board other than the connectors itself. Just gonna plug it up and see how it does. And right off we get a green light. Let's see if it'll stay green. It does. So this pack, which I just checking the voltage when I got it, um, I think it was around 52 volts or so. So I felt like most of the cells were probably in good shape. At this point, if you watch my videos before, you know I also like to, to go around on my test points. That's another good feature of um, having a board to plug in that's already um, had the potting re removed. And of course, that's just going around to your, your test point ground or your, or your ground on your terminal and um, and going across where it says your test point B1, B2, B3, all the way around to B14. And just, you can actually check your individual cells there, of course, without disassembling and trying to get to the pack because especially these higher capacity packs, it's very hard to get to that cluster and check them. But the handy thing is all the wiring is brought out to check it right here. So why not do so? But I think I did an ohm check from, uh, from negative to T of the temperature. And I was getting, yeah, at room temperature, about 73 degrees at my workbench. And we're getting about 10, 10 to 11 K. And um, that seemed pretty normal for ambient temperature. So the potting is gonna to have to come off of this board and we're just gonna to have to see if we can figure out what might be going on with the thermistor circuit or if it could even be something going on with the microcontroller itself. 
that, uh, that thinks it is a temperature issue. So I'm gonna start lifting this uh, potting just like I've done in previous videos on my 56 volt repair, in including this very first repair uh, three years ago. And I'm just gonna take my razor knife and I'm gonna go around the edge and just start really, really gently just picking. Just a little bit more to go here. And we'll be back. So back now with all the potting removed and hooked back up. But for troubleshooting, I am gonna take the cover off, you know, look at the cells as well, but also for right now, so it's less stress on these wires and the board laying down. It's just no good way for this one to, to lay down. I can take the board out if I need to. And of course, taking the, um, taking the case apart to give me more room on the wires to lay down flat. So I'm gonna remove these four screws and of course these five on this back plate of the housing and we'll be right back. Okay, so a couple interesting things with this board. The first one being, this is the um, best I have ever seen the back of a board come clean. The silicone just peeled right off. One complete side just stayed in. <laughs> and the other side I pulled off pretty, pretty easily. So anyway, I've worked on dozens of these and I hadn't seen one yet that, um, that peeled off quite that good. If you're interested in a good, good look at the, um, what I'm calling the back side of the board on the just a Gen 1 style, but anyway, a couple of interesting things with this pack is, is that, and some of these heat sleeves have done the phase change. You can see how they look kind of swollen or rounded instead of the real sharp edges on the sleeve. So some of these have um, deployed that phase changing um, protection there to try to save the cells. And I checked across these and I can't remember if I did it on camera or not, but to save time on camera, I may take it out, but I went all the way across our test points like usual and about 3.6, 3.7 volts. So all very well balanced. All 28 cells are in great shape and holding well. The other interesting thing is that the way this board shows the orange blink after I got this apart instead of started separating it, we see that it does turn green. So look at there. There's a bad connection somewhere. I don't think it's on the, I don't think it's on the board connector like I've done a video recently on the four amp hour. I believe this time it's somewhere on the pack. So look at there. I just gotta figure out where the connection is now because if I move it, it starts. I'm wondering if there's something going on with this board. Definitely something going on with the, either the interconnect board, the thermistor board, or, or just a connector in general. So let me hunt that down. So back now, after taking the, uh, the power connector board off of the bottom of the battery pack, I just have some tape on here simply for protection so nothing can come across the positive or negative terminals. And that way I could get in between here as I started cutting a little bit of the silicone, I just had to be careful to see where the wires were because we had a connector, as you can see on this side or the front part of the pack. And then the back of the pack where the light would be, the BMS board, we have a connector on this side. So I had to kind of cut 
on this side and find the connector and then on this side and miss the wires, of course. So you want to be careful with that. I just wanted to take this thermistor or I say it's a thermistor system, but as we talked about in the previous video, those are, those are PN junctions off of some transistors that they're using in series to do some monitoring of the um, individual cell temperatures on the back. This is one from a Gen 2 board, I believe. Can't remember. I can't remember for sure, but it's a very similar um, board with the, if you can see the transistors there. I believe this came off of a four amp hour, so I guess that was a Gen 1, but I kept it just for show and tell how they ran through each individual cell, of course, being monitored on the ends. But I just put some contact cleaner on the connector and we just plug it back in. This Gen 1 does not give you a lot of room with that red wire there. You just got to be careful. You got a thermistor there. Of course, I have two thermistors potted in. And as soon as I clean that connector, I hadn't even done this one yet. I hadn't taken it loose yet. But as soon as I've done that, we get our green light. So this is actually the first 5 amp hour pack that I've worked on that had a connection with that board. So that's why we were getting the blinking orange for temperature issues. I'm just going to bring up the charger now. I'm just going to carefully set this in the charger to see um, simply how it does. Well, I am loving that. It is definitely trying to charge. If you remember, and I may have not have shown it on video because I kind of got ahead of myself taking this pack apart. But um, I'll take this apart just to show you when it's blinking orange that the two will not run. Hopefully you can tell that it's orange and not the red light blinking. It was difficult when it's blinking the um it's blinking the green and the red at the same time it gives you an orange look or yellow look so back now with a little bit different angle here on my bench so you can see this blower as we plug this pack up and we have our um temperature monitoring disconnected we are definitely getting our amber or orange light and our, our blower will not run at all. <clears throat> so if you having that issue as well, you might want to check that. Just going to go ahead and connect this back up here. And you want to make sure you press straight and not outward because the pins just go through the board and that connector, other than the silicone, is not connected or held adhered down to the board. So just push straight in. And back now, I did go back and uh, clean the pack again. I actually um, took both connectors loose on both halves. We got a, like a two pin and I think a three or four pin. Yes, definitely a, a two pin, a four pin. So I spent a lot of time cleaning up the four pin because it seemed like when I moved it, it would go blinking orange. But it, it started happening again. So I took it and I cleaned up the two pin plug as well and plugged it back up. So... Seems to be holding steady green. Such a good feeling to see the green LED come on when you're working on one of these. So I have take, taken the tape off when I went out there cleaning on it. And now, cross my fingers. Be careful that nothing touches here. We definitely still get our green light. Will it run a tool now? Yes, it does. Awesome. So I hope that's going to be a fix there. And hopefully it's good information for you. If you, if you do have a, like a temperature issue with yours, if you do ch double check all your thermistors and everything's good, I would definitely take the time to separate the packs carefully and check those connectors. Um, on the video, I did share with you that took this small 2.5 amp hour it's also a first-gen uh, pack, and I plugged it up, and it, it didn't have the blinking light. 
but it's very possible that this board is different and didn't show that part of the circuit. So I almost thought it was the BMS board and I was doing a lot of testing and I could find nothing wrong with the board. So it wasn't until I started separating the pack that with the original board that we took the potting off of and looked at, it actually went green when we started fooling with these connectors. So, so hopefully that'll help somebody else with the same issue. And thanks so much for Patrick for sending me these batteries. That's how I got uh, three batteries to work on recently. Uh, this five amp hour, another five amp hour that's not charging correctly and a 2.5 amp hour as well. So he actually sent them to me to just see if I could do anything uh, with them, and he just kind of wanted the information about them. So, so thanks again to Patrick for sending them in. And if you like this video today, and if it helped you out uh, with a pack similar, uh, please comment below. Please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.